Hey guys, me, Donald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update on this Friday. Let me take it a radar first and just kind of uh, see what the current situation is. So um, now what we're seeing is the pattern begin to shift. And where you see all of that rain and snow right now, California, Oregon, Washington, it's going to continue to shift up to the Pacific Northwest and into BC. That's where the rich flow will run, 127 through 131 with very high snow levels. In Colorado, we've got a little bit of leftover snow, mainly Denver down I-25 into the Southern Mountains. We had a little bit of snow fall um, in the mountains overnight. This is Loveland Ski Area, beautiful view this morning, but you can see the clouds are breaking, the storm is moving away, and all that snow will be sliding into Southern Colorado. But a few inches of new snow here at Loveland Ski Area. And again, just a really nice morning. All right, let me show you what I'm thinking this morning as far as uh, bullet points. So we've got some residual snow in Colorado and also down in New Mexico. All that will have to slide through New Mexico today. And then it will taper off tonight and the low will move away. And then we're into that high pressure period, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, 127 through 131, which will take that rich flow and be, it'll be directed into the Pacific Northwest in BC. Now, all of this, the entire West, will feel warm temperatures, will feel abnormally warm temperatures, and very high snow levels, very high freezing levels at times. Um, not just in the Pacific Northwest and BC, but elsewhere. Wait till I show you what it could look like in Utah. Um, the pattern shift comes in first week of February, and that's still on the board. I still see that coming, um, and, and it could be quite interesting with a powerful subtropical jet screaming in, with areas of low pressure being transported in, and a lot of overrunning snow uh, over the Intermountain West. In the Northeast, you've got rain, snow today, and then just snow coming on 128, 129. That storm system still just slightly south of the major ski areas, but it will brush them with some accumulation. All right, let me take you back, and I wanna show you water vapor here this morning. So um, you can see what's happening. It's an area of low pressure here. There's a lot of um, lower pressures back here with the trough. Well, all of this flow is now starting to shift and be directed up here into the Pacific Northwest, and then eventually that's all of BC as well. But that's going to push up those rain snow lines to very high levels. There's our departing storm system coming out of Colorado, New Mexico. Um, so this whole trough of low pressure back here will sit and spin for a while with this subtropical jet until it gets released and then all of that will become part of the, the shift in the pattern change for the first week of February. And it's gonna come loaded with, with a fair amount of moisture. Let me show you what happens here before we go into the forecast radar and satellite. So I just did my blog this morning. If you haven't looked at it, chrystomer.com. Um, pattern through every early February. I wanted to show you this. Forecast freezing levels. So I looked I went and did uh, Revel Stoke and Kicking Horse today. I had some questions about those. But you can see what happens. We start out in, in okay shape, but look at these freezing levels or rain snow lines. They just shoot through the roof. By the time we get to 128, 129, 30, we're talking about, I mean, you have to go really high to get snow, to get good quality snow, and it's rain at 7,200 feet on 130 and that freezing line jumps to 8,500 feet during the afternoon. That's, uh, that's really high. Alta Snowbird, this would be an example that might be representative for a number of places across the Intermountain West. Um, you can see what happens. Start out pretty standard, and then look at these freezing levels. I mean, this is like springtime. 129, 130, 11, 5, and 11.6 at times. It's not going to be precipitating. It's just going to be warm during that time period. So that's what's going to happen with this pattern. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon. Leftover light snow in Colorado, New Mexico, and then it's done. Watch the flow. It's Pacific Northwest, it's BC, and it's a nice rich flow, but the temperatures are just going to be so warm. And look at the Intermountain West, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. It's nothing. There's no cold air. It's just uh, severe, clear, and uh, very warm temps. But here comes that big storm system, that big trough of low pressure shifting in. This is 131. It starts to hit the west coast, and it's really just the leading edge. By the time we get into that first week, we're going to see everything start to shift around. Okay, let's talk um, what it looks like on 2-3. Forecast radar and satellite on 2-3. Notice the difference. By this point, we're talking about widespread snow. 
from Canada all the way down to New Mexico, maybe even all the way down to 5280 in Denver. All right, let's talk about uh, the jet. 127, so we're into that ridge of high pressure, warmer temps. By 2-1, the door starts to swing wide open. Subtropical jet comes screaming in and brings storm systems and some colder air. By 2-4, um, same thing, powerful subtropical jet, ripples of low pressure riding that powerful jet stream in, so it looks like a promising time frame. Snowfall by period, leftover snow today, very light in Colorado and northern New Mexico, some snow up in BC and Washington State. Second time period, 128 to 131, nothing for the Intermountain West, but potentially some big snow around Whistler and Blackholm at higher elevations. And that would be the case for California during that time period, higher elevations. And then the big time period, 2-1 through 2-4, um, you can see a lot of numbers have gone up. In Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, very impressive. Montana, Idaho, the numbers have gone up. Um, assuming all this plays out, you know, as, as what it looks like this morning, these are the numbers that I'm um, forecasting. One to two feet for a lot of areas, and that's awesome to see. I love that. Let's go to the northeast. So, again, rain, snow today, and then um, potentially um, some, some moderate, light to moderate accumulations on 128, 129, and then another chance of snow, 2 1 into 2 2. Uh, and that one would have some colder air. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. And take care.